This is what I love to do. Oh, I'm born and bred to do this. Like I said, you can go back way in time. My name, my family name, were bred on the battlefield, swinging pickaxes on the back of a horse. You know what I mean? That's where the McGregor name comes from. We come from the Scottish Highlands. We're warriors. It's all I know. It's all we know. So I'm going to be doing it for a long, long time yet. People walk away from the sport. It's not like your physical body lets you down. It's just the mental fatigue of it all. You know what I mean? He, Tyson said a quote that uh, I was interested in. He, he said, what would yes. Customato say to you now, now that you're coming back? He said, what took you so long? And I agree with that. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep going and that's it. You'll never get rid of me. This game, this game is mine. This city, Las Vegas, is mine. This world is mine. So I'm just focusing on my own game, focusing on my own self. I've come through a lot. You know what I mean? It's been a tough couple of months. It's just a get, about getting through the mental block of, of, of the break happening. But I feel like, you know, I feel great to be honest. I feel very confident, I feel eager to get back. And I, I've got through it. I'm proud of myself to get through it. I look forward to, you know, inspiring me the many people all across the world that, are, that face, you know, tough times in their life, tough injuries. Uh, and, and, you know, I hope my story and my journey can motivate them also. And that's, that's, that's a goal of mine too. I love the thrill of it. I love it all. I love the fight. I love the business about it. I love everything about it. People ask me that all the time. Why am I here? I'm, you know, am I too accomplished to be here? You know, but it's what I love to do. It's all I do. You know, am I the hungry lion I once was? You know, maybe not. It's certainly different, but I'm, I'm, I'm now the fat cat. You know what I mean? I'm the fat cat pulling all the strings around here. And that's an even da more dangerous individual. So, you know, and I'm also, you know, couldn't wait till I am hungry. So I'm eager to get in there and prove all, all the people uh, you know, all my doubters wrong and all my supporters correct. You know, I do a, lo a lot of this for the fans. I love to, I love to get in, uh, get in and show my appreciation for the fans. You, every time I sit in, in an interview, it's, oh, why are you here? You've too much money. You're too successful. You've done it all. Blah, blah, blah. You know, in the last fight, I kind of bought into that. You know, I was in the press conference and a guy was reading out a quote of mine from many years ago where I was like, talking about I can't wait I'm gonna I'm gonna put my mother in a mansion I'm gonna you know my girlfriend's gonna have a car for every day of the week and you know I was feeding into that wow I did all this I'm, I'm where I am I'm grateful I'm proud of where I am and what I've achieved but there's a lot more left in me I'm still very young I'm very fresh in the game and I'm a dangerous man only 22 years of age fresh fresh as anything I'm ready to go so I'm gonna prove how dangerous I am because trust me in the mindset I'm in I'm really really dangerous society tells you growing up you should you should fantasize about kicking a ball and dream about that, but it didn't really interest me. I tried to maybe pretend that I was interested in it, but really kicking a ball straight into a net is pretty cool. But what happens if someone runs up behind me and hits me two shots into the mouth, then it ain't so uh, cool. So that was in my head as a young kid. Uh -huh. I had a self-defense mind, I was aware. Where I come from and where I grew up, you had to be aware. You had to be able to defend yourself. So that's, that's how I got into it. Irish mothers will support you no, no matter, matter what. what you do, my my father always jokes that I could be doing anything and my mother would still be my biggest fan. So uh, my, my father was unaware of what the game was, what the sport was. Before me, oh. there was no Irish man that had succeeded in the UFC. There was no one. I could not look to my mother and father and say, look at this Irish man, look at his successful fighting career because there was no one before me. So right. I was the first one. I had to convince them what I was going to do. But as far as my father was, father was concerned, it was... I was just fighting in a cage and with no career path or no nothing ahead of me. So they, it was more worry, but I convinced yeah. them and now here we are. There are many, <laughs> many young kids who are seeing the path now. There are many, many parents of young kids who are seeing my path and encouraging their kids into the game of martial arts. And whether the kid, you put it, your child into martial arts or whatever, it allows them to go and conquer whatever they want to. Whether they want to conquer the fight game they can, whether they want to go and conquer the business game or whatever, route they decide to take, training for martial arts will help, help them. So I am happy that I have put martial arts in the spotlight in my country and shown, shown it for what it is, true dedication and beautiful uh, discipline. It's just about not translating it into the game. You can't be nice in this business, that's for sure, no matter what. You know what I mean? You've got to be ruthless in it. I've got to stay ruthless. That's, that's what I've been saying, you know, in, 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 in the most ruthless business of all, I am the most ruthless and that's, that's what it is and that's where where I am. Yeah, I'm on a nice little path right now. It's more, it's not so much to the opponents. There is a bit of that with the opponents, of course. It's more the behind the scenes, the business aspects and things like that. You know, that's kind of what's halted it a little bit. But like I said, I'm on a great path now. We've got this trilogy. We've got big things planned for after and I'm excited about it. It's hard to juggle. It's hard to go face to face and want to 
tear through a man and then hold your, your son or your daughter and give them a bottle, uh, you know, and feed them and this type of thing. So I've stayed away from that for, a, for, for this one. And I've actually, I feel, I feel great. I've not, I've not switched roles almost. I've stayed in, the, in, in, in that mode that I need to be in. Even if I would say like rest days, you know, like on a rest day, when I would have rest day around my family, it's not really a rest day. I'm playing with the kids, I'm busy. It's, my rest days have been true rest days. So then when I go again for my next round of work, I'm energized, I'm refreshed, and it's, you know, shown in the, in, in the practice realm. It's not even enduring. I'm just, I'm embracing it. My frame is, is light. I'm a, I'm a true lightweight frame now. I'm zippy. I'm fast. I'm powerful. I have not only maintained strength, I've actually gone up in, in strength and power. The weight is on point as it's ever been, and I'm very excited, you know. Once you're fully committed, things are easy. It's that simple. Hard things become easy when you commit yourself fully, and that's what I've done. So I'm very excited to get in and showcase myself at 155 pounds, fully focused. I'll probably never retire from the game, to be honest. I'll always be, I'll always, I'll be competing for a long, long time yet. It is certainly brought out of frustration, you know, when you're trying to get these events going, you're trying to get things moving and it's just not happening. It felt like I was shelved almost, you know, I felt like if I'd have been ran out a couple more times that year, not only would my skill set and my sharpness, everything be in tune a lot more, we'd also be talking the goods of 800 million dollars in revenue for the company and you know it just it, it was certainly out of frustration but it is what it is the past is the past we're in a great spot now i felt like i've got what i needed to get off my chest and i felt like it's it's been re reciprocated well and it's come back you know there's the other side has come back as well so i'm in a great spot and i'm excited to come back and that's what that's what we're at we're focusing on the positive side of it and we're focusing on the future Wins and losses and all this, it means nothing to me. If you're scheduled to fight a man and you've gone through build up and there's, there's history and all of this, a fight is a fight and fights must take place. Every fight is different regardless of anything. Every fight between every man is different. And if fights are to take place, they must take place. You know what I mean? You can't scurry away and not get the fight scene that you were supposed to fight. That's my opinion of it. And you know, I don't care how many wins or how many losses you have, it means nothing to me. I've fought. I fought unbeaten everything in, in, in different sports and all. I would fight anyone. If you want to fight someone and you're supposed to fight them, they should happen, so. You know, especially as I get older in, in life, I am, you know, I feel it's our duty as human beings to give back. I think we've all got to give back in this, in, in this world. And as I'm getting older, right, I have so much admiration for the coaches and the trainers and the teachers, because if you think about it, they dedicate they are, it's all volunteer work. You know, they dedicate their time to help train the youth and, and, and guide the youth. I have so much admiration for that. I know, growing up, I would never really think of like the coaches or, or anything in that in that way, that these people are actually taking time. They've got their own families, they've got their own things, but here they are dedicating their time to help coach and train the youth and give them an outlet, a much needed outlet, especially in this day and age. So I want to go back and support that. I'm going to support people to support people you know support support these these gyms and these these places and that's that's what my aim will be for this part of my life